wonder what Santa bought me this time. It seems to fit on there at the right shape and size. Let's get it open and see if it's the right one. Oh, it's a nice colour. I know what it is. It's a fish cool, your ultimate jet ski fishing cooler. So I bought this in Aussie and had a friend of mine transship it on over for me. It had to go through customs and that... Uh, was an additional 240 which included New Zealand GST anyway let's see what I got there's a live bait hudaker here as an addition to it so this might need the angle grinder to get it open They were flesh, stainless steel, that'll be good. A couple of straps. That's that. A bit of information. And my consignment number there. The rubbers look good around here. The attachments. I don't know how this live tank thing works, but it might work. Good solid rubber. These are tie downs, I presume. Trolling uh, angles. Four rods across the back here. Anchor points, anchor point, anchor point. I can come forward onto there and back down over the back here to the, my uh, a catch over the back here. We'll see how that looks. This has got drain holes out the back. I can put my cutting board on here. Keep it a bit tidy. And what do we got under here? Oh yes, maybe another for hooks and things there like so. And as the lid comes up, we've got a place here for our knives and pliers etc here. Let's have a look at that. How strong is that? I suppose you're best to leave it down. I don't know how that would go. Let's hope you can get parts for that because that'll get torn off. Let's hope not. Well, so far it goes so good. I'm impressed. Seem to be a bit light, but they look as though you can easily include that. Seems to fit right up tight here to my seat, which is good. Need to protect that. You can still get past to my camera. Maybe have to, or I could use this as a, an additional mould there to get on higher. Let's have a look at these fellas. A little bit better with the stainless steel for the salt water. All seems to work be easy oh well let's uh, mount it up and see what she looks like all strapped down in the box came this little piece here and of course if the fish um, live bait box is out this would no doubt sit here like that now i've got that back to front i have to go around and fix it Let's have a look at the outlet down there. Big outlet. Or a little outlet. 
no doubt I can get a, a hose onto that and get rid of the juice out the side if I leave it strapped to the boat. This might be the warranty. Thank you for shopping with us. No, there's nothing in there. I made up this pad here already for this boat. Let's go back here. It sits in there. These links come up, but I probably won't use them. They're called the quick link or whatever it is. But I've modified it so I can get a rope around there and back up there. And I can also come back over and attach to this fella under here and this side here. So we'll see how that goes round over like that and back into there. And that should protect it. I don't think I'll need those two bits there. Good, that's the base covered. I want it back just a bit because I I don't want to drive a knife through my seat here. So I, you see these here are inviting you to poke your knife through but if it's right through here like that whoopee straight through the vinyl so we don't want that so i'll have to set her up somewhere like that that won't be too bad so i can get a latch on down here with this one come through there through there back down through there and then i'll go back down and onto this one here that means my Stainless steel decker here will be sitting up a bit. That'll be sitting up there. That won't be too far away. I'll cut these to the right length so I'm not farting around with all these extra bits. See how the other side looks first. Poking through there. Up through here. Back down here. back down to there so I give her a tweak evenly yeah I think that'll be okay they seem to be out the way there. Even if you climb over the back, it won't be too bad. You'll be able to use them to give you a grip. And up you up you're going over the top of the box. Like so. Alright, well I think I know how to attach it and it's sitting back enough there so that when my knife goes down through here, she's sitting in uh, open open cavity there. That's long enough, so I'll whip them off there and burn them at that. That one. Good. There's something stuck down in this one here. We'll see if we can get down. I'll have to poke something up from the bottom. Mm -hmm, here it comes. Hello, someone's had a fishing rod in there and lost their uh, protective cap off the bottom so I put my new rod, my new old rod here huh. maybe that could go on there so that gives you a trolling position out the side here here you can see how easy it would be to do that so I have to lash them down as well there's your place to tie them back down so I don't lose them so I have to get some bungees to go around that and back onto there each of those there 
my uh, net, a gaff, and uh, a third rod, uh, the second rod there. Oh, it comes with a tail light as well, so that's handy. I see there's a measurement stick along here as well. And my gut and board will fit in here nicely. Just got to whip a bit off the end of that. Yeah, that'll fit, won't it? Gives you room to dribble over the edge a bit, either side. And that should sit in there. Let's see how I'll anchor that. Right through the roof with a big screw, I suppose. Yeah, you get something through the guts of it there. Doesn't feel right going through there. Let's have a look at those screws there when I wonder what they do. They must hold this rubber in, I think. So this addition has come in handy because uh, tomorrow we're going about 40 kilometres off the coast to a place called Mir Island. I'm meeting up with the Tauranga Jet Ski Fishing Club tonight at the uh, fishing club. We're just going to discuss our safety and strategies for tomorrow. It's an early morning start, just on daylight. We're going out of a place called Bowen Town, which is a closer run out to Mir Island. So I've checked all my gear since the last run, and uh, I've just got to go and fuel her up now. Put another uh, 10 or 20 litres in, in the caboose here so that I've got uh, extra fuel there. And sort out my GoPro to make sure that that's all the equipment's dead right. And get some ice for tomorrow. So I'll take my van and the boat down to Bowen Town tonight, that's about an hour from here, camp the night so that I'll be nice and fresh for a daylight start tomorrow. I tested my little radio holder here. It's a Marley downpipe over one of those uh, railblazer ports here. And you can see that I've got a fair amount of range on the lanyard I've got there that I can uh, utilise it with the, with the safety thing on board. That, this particular camera does float, but uh, let's keep it on board if we can. And I can hear what's going on from there as well. So I keep my uh, PLB there, my flashlight, my safety gear and a bit of uh, first aid stuff there. A drink there. And this is my rake here in case I get a stone in the impeller I can reach through. But that's more for in the rivers than uh, out on the big sea. I broke this here. Wouldn't believe it, would you? Do you know how you break that? You leave the bonnet up when you go putting it in that shed there. And that just caught up on here like that. I think that might be the mark. Kabunka! And that stopped it and broke the plastic. Well, Bev, there's our fish box. <laughs> 